welcome to the story off podcast that was a very like announcer episode i'm jay this is ashley yep that's all she'll say this episode and then we've got my brother (laughs) hello i'm willis even though i am the wife i am definitely the third wheel in this situation so i will be a patient observer like you guys so take it away yeah sorry i tried to drag that away from you um we do only have two microphones but three guests or three hosts we're gonna call it have you not done that we did have bella on the last episode and i kind of third wheeled for their episode but this is ours vice versa the most yes yes very good that's it um yeah dude what up how you doing oh, no, not too bad i'm pretty chill up sure. on the coast enjoying the coast. some uh well i wouldn't say warmer weather but i would definitely say um warmer than home yes we're filming this in like the middle of just rain so that sucks <laughs> that's uh can i is that my bad vibe <laughs> yeah yeah we'll, do, we'll go straight into that so what's, what's your good vibe and bad vibe for your uh, for your week i'll, I don't let, you know. go, I'll let you go first yeah, i've never seen this before so i'm gonna let oh, okay. you start so you, yeah, yeah. you start easy. that's right he doesn't watch his own brothers but no no no, sorry. <laughs> no i'm not gonna hold you I gotta get so gotta get on to we, that. we're like we meme on this podcast so but uh, anyway um do you want to go first okay so my bad vibe for the week is it's so funny because i'm gonna say this and then we just talked about it with your sister or like my sister-in-law and brother-in-law but i had a bad moment at work where i sucked and i did a lot of things wrong well i didn't do a lot of things right i did some very small things wrong but it eked at me and that was it but good vibe i found out i'm going to china whoa yeah, straight fire whoa, Yo, what? going to china for a week in october so go to rome for the finals which we talked about on an earlier podcast for Scootering World Finals. And then literally like two and a half weeks later, go to China for the World Street Pro Tour or something like that. I don't even know what it's for, but I'm going to China. Out of, out of all places, what's your thoughts of China? China? Um, I've got to learn the like language. Uh, no, I don't. I don't mean I have got to learn the language. I've just got to not say bing bong. Uh, just say uh, to everyone you go to, just say... Uh, Ni hao ma. Ni hao ma. Wo hen hao shi shi. Uh, and then say, um, ni hen piao lian. Someone who knows Chinese. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Shout nah. out to the Chinese people. He just calls Shout you. Out. No, 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 It means, um, you beautiful lady. Oh, that's just He's a beautiful lady, dude. Yeah. That's just the you same as like lady. someone. Coming, I just went oh, around and said that to all the Chinese girl. people. Yeah, that's the same as someone literally coming and just being like, "Oh, you're a very beautiful woman." <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, that's a terrible yeah. accent, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll try not to do that. Yep. And um, yeah, Ash, do you we get move plenty to Ash of photos? Or? You're famous over there. I'm f- I'm famous. You're Chinese. Yeah, I have my Chinese famous. fans. Yeah. yeah. Message me all the time. I mean, my spam email spam. account. <laughs> That's true. Um, my bad vibe has been the... Thanks for being in my tripod. <laughs> um, my bad vibe has been the sheer amount of rain and cold wind. Like, we moved from Victoria to get rid of the cold weather, and these Victorians have brought it up, and I'm just not... Sorry. I'm not, it's actually crazy how quickly we've adjusted to, like, Queensland weather and that because the wind is so icy cold and it's still like 12 degrees but it's so cold but my good vibe is we've been doing some super fun stuff this week because we've had the excuse to by having visitors which has been great but thank you yeah and this is only week one of three weeks of visitors so we're living life in the fast lane living life in the fast lane yeah you were about to say that i know you were Uh, i was thinking of not that one. I was thinking of the Limp Biscuit one. Limp Biscuit. Oh, the laugh in the face thing. Oh, take yeah. a look around. Yeah. Yeah, we got the, we got the, we have the yeah. right idea of different songs. Um, yeah, good vibe versus bad vibe. Go ahead. Whatever you feel like. Yeah, if my, you don't my, have one, you don't have to say one. Nah, my bad vibe was the weather. I was the same. Come up for a week to try and enjoy some warm weather. It's been terrible. Being terrible, but it's still warm in the home, so mm. that can be my vibe. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Still I'd rather be here than home. Oh, uh, weather-wise, yes, but not for the people. Be yeah. up here for twelve yeah, months. Screw the people. <laughs> <laughs> no, we appreciate it having you. Nah, my pleasure. Thanks for um, having me. I just remembered we're sitting on your bed. You actually said that. 
<laughs> Sorry, we relegated you to the couch. By the way, ah, uh, so right. It's we comfy. do, we do have a blower bed that he could have used. He's just chosen the couch every day. Yeah. Um, I don't mind it. I slept on worse. That's for sure. And it has the Xbox. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm vibing with the Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, no. Oh, you have something you want to? Yeah. So before you mentioned, like Willis just pulled out some Chinese randomly. Like, should you? Jay, you need to like ask him for some advice for your China trip because Willis has been there. Yeah, I have been there. Yes. Um, in brief, I guess to summarise, I was there for. Um, I think we were there for like three weeks, four weeks, something like that, for a while. Um, it wasn't too bad. We spent some time in the high school and in the uni, as part of like our VCE studies. Um. We learnt Chinese, mm. but I don't remember a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, it kind of goes over from my our head fantastic now. conversation. The only the one that I remember is like obviously there's four tones, and I still I have uh, the Chinese teacher at school that's trying to teach me Chinese still now. Um, so I can teach you swear words, <laughs> 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 like any language. We all learn swear words first. Yes. Um, but um, yeah, I still remember some of it. Um, but um, not a lot. The, I, I just remember the five tones, or four tones, and then you've got a normal flat tone. I, I think that's right. Because it was and part of an exchange program, is that why? Yeah, part of an exchange. Yeah. So we we're over there for yeah the time period with the host family, and then another section we we're at the university doing our studies. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, cool. And I mean, it's a, it's pr- it's pretty third world. Like you you'll see when you go there. It's pretty. Yeah. Like well, but yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, right. it's yeah, it's different vibe, different yeah. vibe. Yeah. Nothing like um, anything else, and it makes you lucky that you're, yeah. all that you're yeah. elsewhere. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to Shanghai. Like, whereabouts did you? Uh uh, we, did you yeah, go? we were in Shanghai. We were in Beijing, in? Shanghai, Nanjing, Taizhou. Uh, there was a few others, but I can't remember the names of them. But doesn't we kind of travelled around. Doesn't that sound so much cooler than like Melbourne? Yeah, Mel- Melbourne. Maui. I went to Maui. Maui. No one goes to Maui. Yeah, no one goes <laughs> to Maui. I mean. Yeah, you know Adelaide. What I mean. Adelaide. Yeah. yeah, they're all kind of like bogan, but like Tai. Yeah. What was that one? Yeah, Taizhou. 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 Nanjing. Beijing. Melbourne. <laughs> like no one says yeah. that. <laughs> like no one says that. But anyway, Ma- yeah. Maui. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's stupid. That's cool. Um, but yeah, um, and you still keep in contact. Yep. Uh, we've had a few talks uh, about yeah, outside it's of the ca- podcast. Kind of, obviously, um, I've kind of lost a little bit of contact because mm. it, it, I added everyone on their social, so they don't do Facebook or Instagram or anything over there. It's banned. Like, you literally cannot banned. access it over yeah. there. Um, so we had to use. At their social media, which is platform, which is called QQ, which I still mm. have QQ. QQ. Uh, but uh, a lot of them don't really use that anymore. They now use WhatsApp. Oh, they all yeah, use yeah. WhatsApp. They all use WhatsApp. Yeah. yeah, they all yeah. Use Same WhatsApp. with India. So everything's all WhatsApp now. Um, so I'll, I've only just recently got back on WhatsApp or just started using WhatsApp. So mm. I'll um, hopefully be able to chat to them on QQ to get their WhatsApp. Nice, nice. That's cool. Use, That's my plan. I use them. WhatsApp yeah. a lot for work yeah. and stuff. Like yeah, a lot great. of the times as soon as there's like an event that I'm working on, you get the link to the WhatsApp because then it doesn't matter if it's an American phone number or an Europe European phone number, whatever, it all works for WhatsApp. Yeah, it's all it, it all goes off Wi Fi, which is great. Like it's easy. Everyone can get it. Yep. Yeah. Funny enough, that's where I got the call to ask if I want to go to China was through WhatsApp. So There you go. Mm-hmm. But um yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, I was going to say before, uh, well, actually, I don't want to derail the conversation talking about games, but I was going to say, you've done like a lot of sports as well. Um, yeah. Now, being up here for a little bit, NRL's kind of the thing. Yeah, everything's rugby up what's, here. No one cares Yeah, I was going to say, like, what's... You cross, everything's all football in Victoria. You cross the border and it's like rugby. Everything's rugby, 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 rugby. Yeah, what's your thoughts on that? You, you're a fan of rugby? Uh, I've just got into it. Like, got into only it? recently. Uh, shout out Marty and Taylor back uh, home. They uh, they got me into rugby. We're actually going to see our first rugby game uh, in a month, I think. We're, or oh, August, start of August. We're going yeah. to watch, um, I believe, 
it is Melbourne Storm versus Penrith Panthers. Maybe. Or oh. or or maybe it could be um, the Dolphins. Wow. I, I, I can't remember who, but we are watching Melbourne Storm either way. You're more Queenslander than us, I think. Dude. So awesome. we're watching that, which I'm, I'm looking forward to. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, excited good. for that. And you've played some sports over your years. Um, I remember we played yeah. a lot of table tennis. You... We table kind tennis, of yeah, table tennis. Go to, I don't want you to like. I don't want to give you a big hit or anything. Yeah, so that's like, do you want to talk a little bit about some of your sports <laughs> career really, as well? As uh, a, I've done a growing lot of up sports. and then like moving into uni and stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I've done a lot of tennis and table tennis. They were my two sports growing up. Go um, I now, um, yeah, obviously played them quite well. And for y- a and long you, time. I want to like paint a picture for some of the listeners for my bro just to be like hey i've got the best like podcast guess <laughs> i'm just want to gas you up with the story of <laughs> you being out of table tennis for multiple years and then you came back was it you came back after a few years and you went to just like play a quick kick oh hit like a quick or whatever, hit and, and then, then like dominate someone top player requests yeah 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 like so on was the it first a- yeah like on the my first time back and it like everyone was like i didn't know a lot of people there mm-hmm. Um, because it changed. It was like five years I'd been away, yeah. and yeah, come back and then like be like top player at the time. That yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. but um, That's but so uh, it was really funny. Like I've been out still now, and it's still funny because we have table tennis tables at school, and um, like as a teacher, and they 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 <laughs> think that I'm yeah, yeah they as a teacher yes yeah, so obviously PE, and I currently teach maths as well. Um, and I mostly taught maths for the most part. And so it was really funny. Actually, I'll, I'll mm. tell that story soon. Um, but we, we jumped on a table tennis table on the last day of school before coming up here. Yeah. And I didn't tell the kids that I played table tennis. <laughs> right. And, the uh, uh, the Chinese teacher that's teaching me all Chinese and stuff, um, you know, brought out all the table tennis equipment and, mm. Uh, we just had a good last day, and I I didn't tell anyone that I used to play, and I was just acting so dinsy like the whole time <laughs> playing play, playing table tennis with these students, and they're like, ah, oh, yeah, we'll beat him, like yeah. so easy. And then out of nowhere, I just you know brought, out. Br- brought out the serve, and they could just tell like the, the confidence, and I'm like all flicking and doing crazy stuff, yeah. and they were like. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny, yeah. So it was really codes. cool. Yeah. But um cheat codes. Yeah, what I was gonna say was I actually had um one of the students. I remember we went on I think it was on camp, on school camp, mm-hmm. and we had to do like one of those kind of like Spartan race, like run kind of things. And it was like full like athletic and we're trying to like beat like personal best times and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway, the kids know me as a math teacher at the school, and so we had one of the kids come up and said, Mr. D, you're very confident and athletic for a uh, math teacher. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but they had no very. idea that they, they, they had no, yeah, they had no idea. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you're <laughs> they right. They had no idea that I, uh, I actually do sports instead and uh, not maths. Yo. Yeah, the other way Damn, around. Damn, this maths teacher is quick. Cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, we did that. Uh, we did the race <coughs> um, for the athletics day, too. And I did the same thing with the year 11, 12. We all went in a race. And they didn't have enough numbers. And like, Mr. D, like, come race, come race. Like, nah, nah, like, I'll save it for the teacher mm. race or something. Like, nah, come on. I was, I was like, oh, all right, fine. And we did 400 meters, so it's, it's like a full lap of the, the circuit, right? Mm. And I'm in, the, I'm in the outside lane, like the far outside lane. So, like, yeah. th- they start on the inside further back, yeah. and then we start, obviously, all the way forward. So, they, um, like, I ran, and they, they're, like, all coming up on the inside, like, passing me, like, talking smack, like... Yeah, like ah oh, yeah, you suck. Like you're trash. Yeah, yeah. Like, skibbity toilet. Easy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like look at that. Look at that. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> no, no, they're not really saying that. Oh, yeah. But like they're running past, like talking smack. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, no worries. Like mm. knowing that in those days I would have been the same. I would have like from you the start yeah. just oh, gunned shit. it. Like I yeah. would have yeah. gunned it. Like Literally. gone. But now it's like you're smarter with it. Mm. You take your pace, like you pace yourself. And then by the time we got to about the 200 meter mark, I was like, 
all right, burners on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then sure enough, it. yeah, I, I flogged him by about like 50 meters yeah. at least. Yeah. And that was, uh, it was pretty funny. That's yeah. So Hell yeah. yeah. Cool. Damn. That's got to be good because I'm just thinking of like, I was never a fan of maths as a kid, but if my maths teacher was Usain Bolt within, you know, the precinct, whatever, whatever you call that, whatever the mm. national district, I don't know, district or what, what's the, the, what are you talking about the Pope? So it was, what, what is it? School? Uh, huh? Now what's it called? What's the district? You go like something and then you go like, oh, zones and then. Oh, di- yeah. You got regional. Regional. And then you got zone. Zone. And then, and then district. district. Yeah. If my teacher was like the fastest in, and the, or like in our zone. District is zone kind of thing. And then you got yeah. state. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if he was like the fastest in the school district or whatever, the four schools. And also is up with the memes. And is also up with yeah, the <laughs> toilet gap memes. Yeah. They, they love that. <laughs> That's probably their best part. It's like yeah. A, I'm very young. Yeah, if my <laughs> teacher was like that and he was my maths teacher, I would kind of be like, damn, if I can count numbers like a little bit more, I might be as fast as him one day. <laughs> like, I think they wish, it might yeah. be kind of It's because I play sports and stuff with them too, but I teach quite young year level. But I guess yeah. uh, when you're that little bit older, you're a bit smarter with it as well. So like mm. you, you could be really quick in like when you're 18, but yeah, you're kind of the same pace when you're 27, so long as you keep that fitness. So it's like you just get smarter with it, smarter with the plays. But um, yeah, I still look at it now and um, I guess um, you kind of like, I don't know. Yeah. Is it, I was, I was going to ask, is there like, I mean, unless you want to finish that. Well, uh, I was just going to say like, it's so funny because like, like it's so fun to like beat the kids in that and i've like been tempted on my like instagram profile to just be like change my (laughs) caption like just change the caption to like 17 and unders like 100 meter sprint champion and then just have a photo of me with like a first place like like, ribbon championship belt like first place ribbon yeah yeah college belt yeah yeah pretty much like just to say you know yeah i'm still a goat yeah goat I'm ten years older oh. than that. I can't. I can't be doing that. <laughs> no, but you also, the kids are stalking your profile too. Like the kids oh, that's would true. be stalking they do. your profile. They do. So I I do see meme. I do see that a lot. And because you're young and that you got social media as well, you do find it. But you just kind of like private, like mm. just yeah, very private. Thing. Definitely, it's like any type of like. Uh, I think it's just the role we're in. Like students want to look and like i can't really say much because not that we ever did but you're always curious because when you even see a teacher outside of school like oh my god like there's yeah teacher. like you see him down the street yeah it's like they have a life too like it's just a, it's just work it's just a career like a job a profession yeah. but you don't understand that as a kid yeah but you don't have that as a kid yeah. you, you just feel like you only see them within that space ironically like, enough so that's like what yeah. you see with they sports wanna, stars they want to see and stuff yeah. and like you see a sports star and if you see them and like you go to like a city or whatever and it's like oh that like that's an afl player or that's a whatever player. it's like oh that like that's really cool seeing them not running crazy in like like yeah 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 not roided up but you know what i mean like yeah oh yeah yeah like, uh, let's win. yeah when they go hulk mode it's cool like they're not running through woolies like about to tackle someone you know like they're just living a life <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah. yeah that would be a funny funny thing now to see but is that how NRL players go shopping? Anyway, I was gonna say, is there a sport that you didn't like do, or even just is there a sport of yours that you haven't done yet that you would like to do, well, or even that question. you'd like to like teach techniques and things? With yeah, that's a great question. Um, th- I think that's the best part about my job is that I get to obviously teach kids a variety of different sports um, mm. and get to play a lot of different sports, and and sometimes it, as a teacher, you're like. You're just gonna do it just because you want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> like so, um, like week. kids, kids would be like, ah, uh, oh, I, I really don't want to play hockey, but like the Stanley Cup Finals in America were on, and I was like mm-hmm. getting well into it, and I was loving it, like the NHL uh, Finals, and so um, I just wanted to play hockey. So yeah. I, thankfully, we're for that period, we're doing invasion sports, right, and um, that involves like having an attacking and defending side which mm. is hockey right so yeah. i was like we're playing hockey 
So I just force the kids to play a game that I want to play. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's but, it. But uh, there's a variety of different sports, so it's cool that I get to play a bit of everything. But uh, I currently play basketball, and that's good socially. Giving up the tennis and table tennis. But um, mm-hmm. I think the competitive nature is kind of like fizzled out. I don't – not really well into it anymore. Um yeah, more enjoy. Oh, uh, not so much that, but just the. I I think I enjoy the fitness side of things and enjoyable. Yeah, in that in that way, function rather than yeah, anything else. It's hard that um. Competitive nature. Yeah, because eventually com- competition has to kind of dwindle out of most people. But you might find a you never know. You might find another sport that's like yeah. You still got to strive within sport. Like it's uh, the competitive nature is what keeps you grinding or like going within the sport. You wouldn't yeah. play it otherwise, right? Um, but I think it's the uh, the extreme level of the, the competitiveness that kind of like almost negatively impacts your performance. Yeah. Like it's all just for competition or or, or it's all your training, dedication, everything's towards like a, an end goal of competing or tournaments and yeah. it becomes a bit too much. Like yeah. I'm at the point where I'm not going to be the next LeBron James or Federer. No, <laughs> no. So there's no point in taking it as serious in that in that realm. Like I'd rather do it for the fitness aspect, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Do you have any students that might – are they like – Do you see, Yeah, I was going to say, do you see them – like what you have when oh, you were a kid, like, like they're like diehard, oh, I'm going to be like the best of this sport before I'm whatever. Like, yeah. Not like no, best, not like NBA level, like they're not going to go there or whatever, but even just that drive. They could they could go there's, NBA, you never know. It's funny because there's, there's kids from, I would say like nearly every kid has like a drive um, and there are a lot of kids that, that push themselves really hard, but only in reality like the 1% of 1% of 1% kind of make it. So you've really got to be in a whole nother realm of that 1% kind of thing, uh, bracket. And you, not yeah, you, you kind of uh, mm. uh, have to have a complete different sort of drive and yeah. performance. And it, there's a bit of everything that's involved to get it. You've got a bit of luck, skill, opportunities. Like uh, there's a whole characteristic of things that have to add together to be able to get something. Yeah. Well, we had that, like, in school, we went to school with mm. a guy who had that drive and made it all the way to the professional level and is now playing professionally with the sport. Like, yeah. you know, you're pretty close with Jack and stuff. So Yeah, yeah. It's, and which it's, is cool and to it's see really his. cool to see. There's a point to which we're, we're, we're all playing on the same level and he just outdone us. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, and that comes into that dedicated, like he was there after school every single time playing basketball, oh, basketball, basketball. Everything his was whole basketball. Life was, yeah, he um, dedicated, yeah. Yeah, everything was basketball, I guess. Um, but uh, I guess, is there any kids that I see? There's not so much. There's kids that uh, come past and they're fantastic at something, but whether they make it or not is, mm. could be anything, right? Like, especially being in that space, I see heaps of people come and go that get into an elite area. Um, but mm. it just fizzled out. Like they could dedicate themselves so much, and then out of nowhere, an injury happens. I've seen that happen multiple times to multiple people where an injury occurs, and then that's their whole thing that they've strived for just yeah. blown like that, like yeah. in an instant because um, yeah, they just literally can no longer perform. Yeah. Um, I wanted to quickly add a little bit of news as well. Like totally sidestep the conversation. Have a forum almost. This is an open question. Um, so you're a you're a Formula One guy, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, motor GP and stuff. <laughs> yeah, Ash already knows what I'm gonna say. Um, so this morning, piping hot. Yeah. Piping hot tea. Honestly, piping hot tea. So Formula One, famous driver Lewis Hamilton. Yes. One of the best. One of the greatest to ever do it. Whether you like him or not, personally. Not a fan of him. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know. Yeah, Big cocky. Yeah. Yeah. Has a bit of an ego, but he is one of the greatest to ever do it. But yes. He is um, with one of the greatest teams. And so Lewis Hamilton has been in talks to invest and buy the Grassini Ducati racing team in MotoGP. Wow. Now, this brings up a question. What a crossover. Yeah, what a crossover, right? And this brings up a question like, does... A Formula One driver, one of the greatest to ever do it, see 
more of a future in like MotoGP outlier because currently if like you look at the stats, of- yeah, if you look at the stats of like viewership of Formula One, like Formula One's yes. had a boost over the last few years. Formula One's uh, massive now. Uh, yeah. Post post drive to, to survive. survive. Yeah. Yes, but I think that's starting to dwindle out, and I think people it are is. actually seeing the sport of MotoGP having so much, and MotoGP has even grown twenty odd million yeah. viewers in the last couple of years as well. It'd be interesting. I I don't know. Um, I mean, you wouldn't buy into that space if you didn't see anything. Um, mm. or it could be just for a legacy thing. You know, like once you get to a point of like so much wealth, I mean, you you're not really looking to gain a lot more from that are you yeah, like yeah. like there there could be a point to which it's just an easily or a more affordable accessible sport within yeah i think yeah. it could also be um it, it, it's smart move in his respect because i think the change in seeing the kind of dip in f1 and the rise of moto gp is one of the reasons why i watch moto gp but don't watch f1 F1 can be really boring because there's no position changes. That like yeah, MotoGP is more entertaining because they're very yeah, it's much more entertaining. And with people's attention spans just dropping, mm. and it's like you know, if in point five of a video, if it doesn't catch your attention, someone's scrolling to the next video. MotoGP does look like it could keep people in their seats watching more mm. often because it's it looks more high stakes because there's no box around them to keep them safe. Yeah. There's more overtakes. There's more everything like it just it seems more exhilarating yeah so i don't know whether you've seen um they have the new so obviously they got the new cars coming 2026 Mm -hmm. for formula one uh the next year's regulations they've already brought out 2025 regulation cars oh really that aspect for it yeah they've shortened all the cars oh good yeah and they've made um changed all the aerodynamics they've now got active aero oh cool yeah, Active wow. Arrow 2, um, which I can obviously do on the fly, uh, and heaps of different things, and it's to try and boost that. Yeah. Um, I th- but I know the cars are a lot smaller too, like a lot help. smaller, yeah, Yeah. to try and yeah. combat that. That's quite a big thing. Nothing happening, because it's very boring. It's, uh, I'd say, all the people who originally mm. watched the sport, like racing fiends, they hate it. They still watch it, but they hate it. Like, yeah. I just watch the highlights now for yeah. that reason, and... Now it's like the Kardashian type people that yeah. just watch it for the drama and the business side of things because mm. of drive to survive. That's yeah. the only reason yeah. people yeah, it's, it's follow it. With or the hot chicks that just want to fangirl bloody <laughs> Charles Leclerc. 100%. Because, like, <laughs> and and Lando Norris. Like, that's it. And that's you've all seen you've got. That, like, a lot of the. Like, there's, there's always been like celebrities and personalities that get invited to events and stuff for coverage and for them to post about it and the experience and everything like that but f1 and i've heard this feedback a lot online after like the most recent melbourne f1 race last year that um it's just overrun with influencers and they don't actually care about the sport they just care about getting the photos they want they don't actually care and they just overrun the spaces and it's just not it's not worth even going in person anymore yeah. And, like, that's a big draw card of when it's in your country, you go, and it's a big experience. Yeah, and there's I agree. people it's that very, would rather watch it on the TV. Yeah, it's very much a highlight reel. Like, it's uh, it's one of those things that people just want to go because it's a status symbol kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's the higher life. It's uh, everything like that. That's the only reason half of them go, and it, it ruins it based on people who actually want to enjoy the sport or love the sport. They miss out on those opportunities yeah. because of all these people that just want to go there for the status. Yeah, not to mention like they have had like F1 has had good races where they're you know exciting and thrilling the whole way through. Catalonia this year was amazing. Um, that was a standout race for me personally. But um, yeah, the I actually only watched it after you mentioned the. Uh, you mentioned uh, yeah, the, the, they had that battle. I watched yeah, the, the highlights and I was like, oh, crap, that's a good one to watch. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Network, so, um, but yeah, the. Yeah, shortening the wheelbase, that's going to be good because that's another thing. Like, MotoGP is only exciting as well because it is easier to do those moves and things. I mean, of course, everyone's closer and things like that. There's more going on. And you yeah, can, yeah. it's more extravagant style of racing mm. too because people have different styles of racing and it's more explicit when you watch it. Yeah. yeah. Rather Who than... Their leg out and yeah, who doesn't. Yeah, you can't how see they that do. when it's such minute little things in the car. Whereas, yeah, you don't see those mm. things in Formula 1. Yeah, yeah. And... I suppose 
you could think of it as like the original F1 in like 1960s and whatever. The cars were really like skinny and really short. So they were almost like four wheel motorbikes. And you can fit four of them on the track side by side and they're going to fit like a motorbike race, you know, like that kind of thing. There's just more that can happen. Whereas if with Formula One nowadays, because it is so big, I think that was a big thing that drew it back. But also for safety, they have to do that because you need that extra space for aero and things to keep the cars on the ground and whatever. And yeah, I don't know. It's hard, but that'll be really cool if Lewis Hamilton does buy a MotoGP team. He, he's also ridden one of those that bikes. Before, yes. Cool. I think I've seen yeah. a video in there. I'm pretty sure he actually raced uh, Valentino Rossi, didn't he? Yeah, or well, he rode his bike. Didn't yeah, he, so yeah, he rode Valentino Rossi. And they did a swap scene. He rode yeah. the... He drove the Formula... So Valentino, Valentino drove the car. Yeah. The Formula One car. And then... And Lewis rode the Lewis bike. Lewis rode the bike. Yeah. Did a bit of a swap seat. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, no. it was pretty cool. Um, Speaking of Rossi, though. Did you want to give the news? Or my, no, oh, okay. Know. So giving... Switching. Really Let me switch the news again. Brick, brick, brick. Okay. Um, going into the next news. <laughs> uh, Valentino Rossi is coming back on the bike... This weekend at the World Superbike. We're talking a lot of motorbikes. So, <laughs> so wait, well, hey, hold up. So, he's coming back. So, he's coming back one to the World Superbike. Uh, one race only Superbike. From another cool piece of circus okay. that's happened. Remy Gardner, who went to World Superbike from MotoGP, he's coming back to MotoGP. And this weekend, he's standing in for someone who's out to, like, have a shot on the bike again. Wow, yeah, okay. Which leaves his World Superbike seat open yeah, for the wow. weekend for Valentino Rossi to jump in and go, yo, what up? Rap. Yeah, that's so pretty cool. In, in exactly those words. Yeah. Wow. It'll be interesting to see how he does. Yeah. But he's old, man. He's getting old. He, he is getting old now. He's like getting he, old, but When did he there. retire? Like what? Uh, he retired from MotoGP, I want to say 2021, 2022. Yeah, so it's, um, it's been a few years. Yeah, after nearly getting hit in the face with Bro Franco Morbidelli's bike. Yeah. Yep. That was crazy. <laughs> I think it was Franco. But yeah. Um, yeah, wild bit of news. Just wanted to add that in there. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? Um, I <laughs> I would like to know, because um, obviously you guys are brothers, right? I came into the picture at 15, so I only know from 15 onwards. But I want to know, like, when you guys were growing up, what was the thing that you liked about each other the most? That, like, you know, whether it was doing something together or the way they approached something, whatever like that. And then the most annoying thing. Thanks. You <laughs> want to start? You can start. Yeah, sure thing. Um, because then I can base my <laughs> goods and bads. Yeah. and how he just wants you just want to yeah. roast me. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, I was kidding. Nah. I just need good vibes and bad. Vibes. Uh, yeah. Oh, your hair sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I need like your hair. Your hair sucks. <laughs> um, no, no. Um, probably honestly the the fact that we like played games here, but like Willis had the Xbox. Um. And we would like do split screen online SWAT with Mick and that. <laughs> do you remember those? Yeah, days? yeah, yeah. yeah. We play like Halo yeah. Reach, maybe or Halo Three. I can't remember. I think it's probably Halo Three. Uh, Willis would turn on the split screen. We do it online. He's like, yeah, sure, you can fucking play some games. I guess whatever. <laughs> 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 and, uh, uh, and Modern Warfare Two, yeah. we'd have like quick scope main games, but I suck. I thought I was good. Yeah, you're pretty good. Oh, cheers. You weren't too bad. Oh, and an I wouldn't. I wouldn't side. have you in my clan, though. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> the annoying side of that as well as what now. Um, oh, we play a lot of like Modern Warfare Three survival. Yeah, Modern Warfare Three survival. Was yeah, good. that was yeah. legit. Um, the annoying part, I don't know. I don't know if there was like unless we're talking young, young. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! I don't even know. We didn't. We didn't really. Oh, probably when you like. But it's just big brother shit, you know, like bug your brother in, in public or whatever. He's like, oh, yeah. he'd, he'd like, we he'd like jump yeah. around you, but I'm good. <laughs> like, like, like jump around, make weird noises and like point <laughs> his hands at you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, just like little into yeah, like uh, little situational big crap shit. like that you just annoy. Yeah. But it wasn't really annoying. Or no, not no, that no, we exactly. did it That's a lot. I don't know. We got along like we really got, well. Yeah, we got along really well, yeah. I guess. We, we get, get along, along when we're not right boxing. Well. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah. Um. But yeah. No, nah, I don't think there's not really much. I don't know, like a bad situational stuff. There was not really anything that stands out. 
that's nothing really that poor. we want to share in the <laughs> banana. I'm joking. No, there's not much that you can think of, is mm, there? Like, yeah. there's like situational stuff where you might be pissed off and like, yeah, like be like up. shoving each other around, but it's not really anything major or anything like that. No. Um, good, I would say, yeah, that we because w- the other way, like around, we could pretty much do everything um, together. Um, yeah, from the gaming stuff or even like skate parks, scooters. Jay was always scooter skate park. Like I'd go do that or whatever um, with him. Um, yeah, I'd probably even say that. Like my scootering anything. stuff wouldn't even because yeah. I think I, I think Willis got a scooter first and then come watch you do that. Oh, I'm using that, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know. We did everything. Yeah, I would even say that, like scootering, because I think Willis probably had a scooter. We'd ride him down at like a pool and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we rode hits. Jump gutters. Catch yeah. sick break air. Legs. Break Catch teeth. Absolute break radical legs, air. Break everything, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's about all well, I got. Speaking of games, do we want to bring in <laughs> Bella and we can play some games? games? Let's bring in our guest from the episode eight, which I still haven't titled. It's going to be called like Bella's Nightmare or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, come on down. <laughs> Bella here and... Whoa. Oh. oh my gosh. The video watchers will totally enjoy that. The audio <laughs> listeners will hate us. That was anyway, crazy. <laughs> we just, uh, yeah. Anyway, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the show. Hello. All right, so we tried a couple of games and they did not work for audio listeners and they were kind of just hectic. So we're going to sidetrack and do some trivia. Um, so I'm going to ask the trivia questions and Jay, Bella and Willis are going to have a buzzer. You may not hear it, but I will hear it as well. <laughs> but you hopefully can hear it if they're loud enough with it. So Jay, your buzzer is... <laughs> he was yawning at the right time. Bella, your buzzer is. <laughs> Willis, your buzzer is. Bzz. Bzz. Gotcha. Okay. Are we ready for round one? Yes. Yeah, right. See. Okay. Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa hangs in what museum? Bzz. The Louvre. Nice. Okay. Wait, can I buzz in any time? You can buzz in at any okay, time. You okay. can you can okay. cut me off. What do you call a group of flamingos? Uh, flock. Wrong. Does anyone else have an option? Bzz. Mm-hmm. Can I say gaggle? It's not a gaggle. That <sighs> is um. It's geese, but it's I thought, geese. Yeah. I thought uh, I'd just take a guess. Bella, you can just make a guess. Know. Dance of flamingos. You are so close. It's a flamboyance. Oh. A flamboyance. A flamboyance. Yeah. It's wild. Okay. Cool name, though. Relative to the internet, what does URL stand for? Bzz, that was not me. That was... <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, that was what like... What does uh, URL stand for? Um, uh, it stands for something re- link. Is it something restricted link? No. Is it something link? No. Oh, we suck. Would you like, <laughs> would you like the L word? Yeah. What is the, the L? The L is locator. So uh, something, no, something I locator. got no idea then. <laughs> like universal system locator? That would help if it was USL. Yeah, it's U-R-L. URL. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Okay, it is uniform resource locator. Oh, no, I was not getting that. <laughs> oh, I was not getting that. Okie dokie. I will take a closest two for this one. If you can get right on. If not, I will take a guess from each of you and I need closest two. What distance is the Earth from the Sun? Bzz. Willis? I'm going to say 3.2 million miles. 3.2? Bella? 5. Jay? 24.4. Jay is the closest. It is nine. Uh, 150 million kilometers oh, or 93 yeah, million up. miles. Oh. <laughs> you guys lowballed so hard. Okay. <clears throat> According to the Guinness World Records, what is the best selling book of all time? Uh, Lord of the Rings. Incorrect. <laughs> Bella? The Bible. Correct. Dang it. I hope you're keeping your own scores because I'm not. Uh, okay. What is the only food that can never go bad? Irish cream ice cream. (laughs) 
we're cutting that out, so that's going to make no sense. <laughs> Only food that can never go bad. Ah. Bella? Jam? You're on the right track, but it's not jam. Uh, molasses. <laughs> no. You're on the right track, but it's not molasses. Ah. Bella? Yeast. Yeast can definitely go bad. Yeast goes bad yeast in like is two already days. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeast is already bad. <laughs> okay, one more guess if anyone has one. Marmalade. You're on the right track. It's honey. Aww. Honey can never truly go bad. Okie dokie. <laughs> Next question. Eddie Falco and James Gandolfini star in what series about the life of New Jersey mob boss? Bzz. Willis. Sopranos. Yes, oh, correct. Dang it. Dang it. I was going <laughs> What guitarist notably performed the Michael Jackson song, Michael Jackson song, Beat It? Eddie Van Halen. Correct. Uh, all right. What is the fifth sign of the Zodiac? Cancer. Wrong. <laughs> Ella? Aries. Wrong. That's the fourth. <laughs> Jay? Virgo. Wrong. Ah. Gemini. Wrong. I'm not going to keep you guessing. Uh, you can have one more guess. Uh, Libya. I'm pretty certain that's a country. <laughs> Libya. <laughs> Libya. Um, <laughs> also, I was... So, Libya. it's Leo. Yeah, I was not getting that. Bella. Leo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is an eight-sided eight -sided shape called? Uh, oh, that was a tie between Jay and Bella. Say it at the same time. Octagon. Octagon. <laughs> that's what we fight Correct. Actor Steve Carell plays a memorable character in the popular TV series Bzz. The Office. Michael Scott. Nice. I had to get that one. You had to. <laughs> These ones are all movie themed, by the way. <clears throat> Killian Murphy plays a 1900s Bzz. mob boss. Willis? Piggy Blinders. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, Elsa, Christoph, and Olaf are all characters in. That was not your buzzer, but Bella. <laughs> Frozen! Yes, correct. Actually, it was Frozen 2. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What was Taylor Swift's first song to chart on Billboard Hot 100? Love Story. Wrong. Remember, she was country before she did pop. Uh, my tractor and my boots. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bella? Breakaway? No. That's Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> uh. Does anyone have a guess? Nah, I didn't really know where that is. Tim McGraw. Yeah, don't know that. Tim, oh, Tim, Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw, as oh. in like the person. Oh, Tim <laughs> What name is singer-actor Stephanie Germanotta better known by? Bzz. I'm Willis? just going to guess Scissor. No, but you're on the right track. Like, uh, the, act, the person we were looking for was Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Yeah. Before embarking on a solo career, Beyonce was a part of what R&B group? Uh. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Spice Girls fucking. <laughs> no. Yeah, what, what was that thing called? Um, it was, was three it? of them. Oh. Was, wasn't it this Bella? child? Willis didn't even, Willis didn't buzz in and he said the answer out loud before, yeah, after what? Bella Sorry. buzzed in. Sorry. But that's okay. That's correct. You weren't going to say Destiny's Child anyway, were you? I would just like yeah. to point out. Were you going to say it? Or you weren't going to say it? Bella's oh. noise has become transformed into a spooked old man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what 1994 Quentin Tarantino movie stars John Travolta <laughs> and Samuel N. Jackson? Uh, uh, Hang on, Willis buzzed in first. Is it, is it Pulp Fiction? Sure is. A majority of adults have how many permanent teeth? Bzz. Bella, oh, you don't count your teeth. You don't have time. 26. Wrong. Is it 32? It is 32, Willis. Yep. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks. I had to ask that one because of that. Okie dokie. What country uses approximately 4 billion miles of toilet paper each year? Jay? America. Wrong. Uh, Bella, you took away the mic, Willis. <laughs> she needs the mic to answer. Sorry. <laughs> England. Wrong. Think of a big country. Jay? China. China, it is. On average, which grows faster? Fingernails or toenails? Uh, Bella. Fingernails. Correct. That's why we have to get our nails done once a month. Oh, this is a good one. How many noses does a slug have? Uh, Bella. Two. Wrong. Anyone else? Uh, Jay? 
Eight. Wrong. Uh, Bella? <laughs> Wrong. Willis? Seven. Wrong. Uh, I'm giving you one more guess. Bella? One. Uh, Wrong. Jay? Twelve. Wrong. Oh, Willis, 20. would you like a final? No, it's four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very roundabout way. <laughs> okay. Uh, what candy was originally known as chicken feed? Uh, Jay? Candy corn. Correct. Which popular <laughs> condiment was once sold as a medicinal cure for diarrhea? Wait, what, go again. Sorry. Which popular condiment was once sold as a medicinal cure for diarrhea? Bzz. Willis? Can I say mustard? You're close. Is it ketchup? It's ketchup. Yeah. Psalm, Saint, and Chicago are the ki- the kids of Bzz. who? Um, <laughs> Willis. It, it's Kanye and Kim. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. What song did Paul McCartney pen for John Lennon's son, Julian? Think about the name. Uh, fucking Hey Jude. Correct. Jude, Jude, Julian, same thing. Okay, can anyone name the Jackson Five? They're all they're all Jackson, uh, so you can just see their first names. Uh, Jay. One, two, three, four, and Michael Jackson. Wrong. That's going to do that too. Is that all you can get? Just yeah. Michael Jackson? There's an, there's a two more that start. There's most of them start with M. Though. One other one. One other one starts there. Jay. Paul, Mickey, Michelle. No. Mark is one, one no. of them. No. But you're kind of close. So there's Jermaine, Marlon. Yeah, Jermaine was one. Jermaine, Jermaine yeah. Marlon, Jackie, Tito. Because they crack it at each other. The, the Jermaine had a fight with Jackie, Michael. Tito, and Michael. Wow. Uh, Final the, question. question. Who was the first ever woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Bzz. Dolly Parton. Wrong. Amy Winehouse. Wrong. Bzz. Bonnie Tyler. Wrong. Bzz. Uh, Aretha Franklin? Correct. Aretha Urethra. Franklin. That was very random, but there we go. Yeah. All right. GG. Um, I'll be cutting a lot of this up. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's going to be chop, 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 but it's going to be fun, fun nonetheless. Um, yeah. Thanks for your for staying for the week. We had a lot of fun. And thanks for hosting. Thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for jumping on the podcast as well. We had an episode with Bella. Go check that out. And thanks for jumping on the podcast. Oh, I wanted you to give a quick review of the podcast because you've actually done a couple of podcasts before with some mates, mainly more this serious is ones. This is, yeah, this, is very, yeah, this is very casual, very chill, um, yeah. off the cuff. Yeah. We're like the... We do plan it, we do plan it out a little bit more when it's just us two. <laughs> Yeah, but this was fun regardless. So, yeah, thank you very much, guys. And we're no going to we're gonna head off. Thank you very much. We'll Bye. see you again soon. I'll try not to drop this this episode. Uh.